everybody out here on YouTube and it's I Here with Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing a product review, going to be talking about hair conditioning today. My favorite, my favorite, my favorite. Yes, yes. I love hair care. My, I love skin care, but I think I love hair care maybe a smidge more. You know, just a tiny bit more. I don't know. I love skincare, but I love hair care too. You guys know this. I love this brand. This is by the brand Avalon Organics. I love their skincare. I love their hair care products. I think they make really great products. They're cruelty free. They don't test on animals, which I love that. I definitely respect that. This is the Avalon Organics Scalp Treatment with Tea Tree Oil Conditioner. It soothes irritation and leaves hair soft and healthy looking. So if you have scalp issues, which, you know, I've never really truly had that many scalp issues, but it seems like this past winter here, I've, I have, I don't know, it, I have a little bit of dryness, uh, maybe even a little bit of itchiness in my scalp or pertaining to my scalp rather. And I've never really had that before. So I, I've noticed that and, you know, it's like, actually, I'm itching now. I'm scratching myself now. I think probably, you know, psychosomatic because I probably just said that. But um, had a little bit of dryness, a little bit of itchiness going on. And, you know, uh, we are in the winter months here. If you, you know, well, it depends on where you're at. If you are in Australia, you are, you are hot over there. So, but um, anyhow, here in the U.S., if you are in the winter months, you know what I'm talking about. It's, yeah. Yeah. Um, the winter not only does a number on your skin and everything like that, but, you know, your skin, your hands, it does on your hair. And people don't really realize that, you know, that it really does funny things to your hair. But anyhow, if a little bit of dry scalp, have a little bit of itchiness going on, thought I would give this a try. I've been trying this for about three, three and a half weeks. Really, really been liking it. So anyhow, it says no GMOs. It's vegan. It's biodegradable. Now, it's not super moisturizing conditioner it's not um super hydrating it's not super emollient it's not over the top with moisturization but it gives you a good amount of moisturization therefore a nice conditioning effect it does you get that little bit of a tingling sensation from the tea tree oil on your scalp which i really like the feel of that i mean it feels like uh you know and and usually uh, this is more a conditioner that's geared towards your scalp usually you don't really put your conditioner on your scalp or near your scalp or even near the roots of your hair because you get you know really a limp biscuity weighted down effect but if this is the conditioner it's like you want that tingling sensation on your scalp you want to put it on your scalp you want to put it like up towards the roots of your hair and you want it to condition and do its thing not only for your hair but for your scalp as well so i really like that i like the smell of it it has a uh, definitely a tea tree smell to it i'm a fan of that tea tree smell i like that uh some people think tea tree is a little bit tea tree oil is a little bit medicinal type of smelling Honestly, I'm so used to using products and using just tea tree oil that I like the smell of it. I love the smell of it. To me, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the smell of it. Let's see what else I can tell you guys about it. There's the ingredients if you're interested. It's cruelty free. There's a leaping bunny. I know I already said that, but I love Avalon Organics. I love the smell of their conditioners. This one for me, it's okay in the moisture department. It's okay in the conditioning department. Um, I do really like that tingly sensation for my scalp. I feel like it did help my itchiness and my dryness with my scalp. So I feel it totally worked for my scalp. Uh, but I feel if you have very dry damaged hair like I do, you might want to use a different conditioner for the ends and the length of your hair. I have uh, long hair. I have naturally wavy hair. I have thick hair. I have long hair. I have a lot of hair. And I feel maybe for the ends of my hair, I would need something definitely more moisturizing. This really is soothing on the scalp. I love it. And if you are familiar, if you've ever used the peppermint type of conditioners for your scalp and you get that overall tingly sensation i really do like that feeling i find it very relaxing i find it very soothing for the scalp 
and you uh, somewhat get the same benefit from this product as well, that tingly sensation and uh, you know, you just feel like you're helping your scalp out. So if you have dry damaged hair like I do, you could definitely use this on your scalp and up towards the roots of your hair and up on the top of your hair for that type of effect. But if you want to use something very deeply moisturizing, like maybe even a mask on the ends of your hair, you could definitely do that. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, listen, you guys, <coughs> you know, oh, I got sinus problems. Sorry, I'm like coughing and stuff. But uh, you know, I'm a licensed cosmetologist and, you know, hair is the name of my game. And really, in the reality and the reality world, you could do anything you want to with hair care. I mean, who's to say you have to use just one conditioner on your hair at, at you know, a time? Definitely, you could use something on the top of your hair and totally something different on the bottom part of your hair and where your roots and split ends are, you know, um, you don't have to just stick with one conditioner. You know what I mean? You could definitely break the rules when it comes to hair care. Do what works for you. Do what works for your hair type. But if you are experiencing a little bit of itchiness with your scalp or scalp irritation, this is definitely good on the top part of your hair, babies. You know what I mean? And it has an okay conditioning effect, too. It's just not as moisturizing as I would like. So definitely, I'm going to start using it on the top portion of my hair and my head. And I'm going to use a deeper, more conditioning mask on the bottom parts of my hair. Okay, guys. Much love. Take care. Be sure to give me a big, huge thumbs up. Bye, beauties.